Hello and welcome to another AnyNode tutorial. We invite you to sit back and watch as we show you how to set up the trusted application server via the topology builder in the Skype for Business 2015 environment where AnyNode will be installed and used as a trusted application endpoint. Please note that you need a Skype for Business environment, including a UCMA application server role, UM, and Windows Server 2012 R2 or Windows Server 2016 operating system. You can use a virtual installation also. This will be used as a trusted application server for any node. We recommend checking the following prerequisites on the trusted application server. The server is joined to the domain you are logged in as a Skype for Business domain administrator. The Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 is installed. Is the certificate authority reachable? The request will be done by the deployment wizard on setup. We also recommend to prepare all data needed for configuration. You will need computer FQDN for the trusted application server, the pool FQDN optional, the application ID, this will be the name of the trusted application. The port trusted application, SIP address trusted application endpoint, the line URI trusted application endpoint, and the display name trusted application endpoint also, which is optional. First, we set up the trusted application server via the topology builder in Skype for Business 2015 environment where any node will be installed and used as a trusted application endpoint. A trusted application server must be created for any node via the topology builder. Ensure that this configuration will be processed in the targeted Skype for Business Server 2015 topology by selecting New Trusted Application Pool in the Trusted Application Servers tree. Select this pool has one server or this pool has multiple servers and provide the requested fully qualified domain name or FQDN. For this showcase, anynode-ucma-pool.sfb.te-systems.com is used and associated to the requested next hop pool. At this place, you have to define the computers that make up the pool. Insert the prepared computer FQDN or fully qualified domain name here. At least one computer is required. Once completed successfully, the newly created pool will now dis be displayed in the trusted application server tree. Afterwards, the changed topology has to be published to the central management store. After successfully completing the publishing process, click Finish to close the wizard. For enabling the required UCMA services on the AnyNode server, configured properly with the trusted application server, the required core components must be installed via the Skype for Business deployment wizard. The deployment wizard is available on the Skype for Business installation media. Please note the following steps have to be done on the AnyNode server. Before starting with install or update Skype for Business server system, the prepare active directory deployment has to be successfully completed. Run all the following install or update steps and ensure that they'll be completed successfully. Install or update Skype for Business server system, Install Local Configuration Store. Set up Skype for Business Server Components. Request install or assign certificates.
service status, and enable Microsoft Update. Run the get-cs management store replication status CMDLet to verify the state of the up-to-date flag if all core components were successfully installed. Please note, before proceeding with the configuration, it's necessary that the flag be displayed in the true state. If the state stays false, a reboot of the application server might be required. The next step is creating any node as a trusted application pool within the appropriate trusted application server. Here, you will need the prepared data mentioned before. After setting up the trusted application, the endpoint must be created with the CMDLet new-CS trusted application endpoint. After setting up any node as a trusted application with the trusted application endpoint, run the CMDLet enable-cs topology to get the changes active. With the dashboard in the AnyNode front end, you get an overview of the status of AnyNode, showing all you need to know right away. If everything is functioning normally, the status will change to green. We are now at the end of our video tutorial and thank you for watching.